All right, so you guys are looking to make something like this, where the character changes his default animations. So as you can see, in the beginning, I started out with these animations, where I'm literally just walking as a default character. Here's my jump and everything. And then once I transform, as you can see, the default animations have changed. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to change the default animations so that you can make your own animations like walking, jumping, and idling. Now, please make sure that you watch the entire video because there are a lot of steps and you will probably get confused if you skip around. And let's begin. So first, you're going to want your animation. So you're going to hop over to the animation editor. And here we go. So this is the idle animation that I just showed you. And if you're using idle, then make sure that it's looped. So make sure that this button right here is blue. So in this first example, I'm going to attempt to change the idle animation to this. So what you want to do is you want to click on these three dots and then click on publish to Roblox. And then you can call this whatever you want. I guess I'll call it like vampire idol. And then you can just save it. Now take this ID and copy it. This is very important. Make sure that you copy this ID. And what you're going to do is you're going to try to save it somewhere. So you can write this down somewhere or you can open up like notepad and then just paste it here. And then I'm just going to write vampire idol because this is the idle animation for the vampire transformation. You can call this whatever you want. Just make sure that you have this same number right here. So whatever number you have over here, make sure that it's saved because you will not see this number again. And then you're going to click close. All right. So now what we need to understand is that inside of workspace, there's a model with your name on it. And this is your character. And inside of this model with your name on it, there's something called a humanoid. And inside of this humanoid, there's something called a humanoid description. And this thing basically describes your humanoid. And your humanoid is basically something that tells Roblox that you are like a character. And so inside of this humanoid description, as if you scroll, you can see that there's an animation tab. And inside of there, there's all of these animations. And these are the IDs of your default animations. So as you can see, I have zeros for all of these. And this one, it has some numbers in it. And the reason that this one has numbers is because, as you can see, I'm literally levitating. <laughs> like, this is my default animation right now. So this right here corresponds to levitating. And all of these zeros are just Roblox's default. So this walking right here, this is default. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to change these numbers to become our default animations. So right now, you're probably going to skip around and you're going to go like, oh, well, maybe I can just take this number and copy it over here. Well, that's actually not how it works. Because if you see, if I take this and then I copy it over to idle, look at that, nothing changed. So for default animations, Roblox actually likes to be complicated. So now make sure that you're paying attention even more <laughs> because this is going to be a little bit different. So as you can see inside of server storage, I have all of these things right here called R15 anim. This anim is short for animation. And inside of this, there's all of these uh, string values. So we have one for idle, we have one for run, fall, walk, and jump. And what we're going to work on today is this idle. So we're trying to change the idle animation. And inside of this string value called idle, there's an animation called idle anim. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build our own R15 anim. So just follow me. So right click on server storage, insert object, and then insert a folder. And then this folder, we basically want this thing to look exactly like this thing right here. So this thing is called R15 anim. So that's what we're going to type here. And I'm going to be assuming that you're doing this for R15 characters. So now I have a folder called R15. And we need this thing right here, the string value called idle. So take your folder, right click it, insert object, insert a string value, and then call it idle. All lowercase has to be exactly the same. And then you have an animation called idle anim. So literally all you do is go here, right click, insert object, and then insert an animation and then call this idle animation. Make sure everything is spelled correctly. This first I is capital and this A right here, this is also capital. So now you should have your R15 anim folder with idle with idle anim. And then the last thing is to set this animation ID to whatever the ID was. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and then this was our ID. Now what we're going to do is we're going to type RBX asset ID colon slash slash and then take this ID and then paste it here. Now, why are we doing this? This is basically a prefix that Roblox that basically this is this is us telling Roblox that whatever numbers that we're about to give it these numbers right here is an asset. So we're basically telling Roblox that these numbers are special because we're going to be using them for something that's an asset. 
so an animation. So then we're going to take this URL, this RBX asset ID colon slash slash followed by our animation ID, which is this thing right here, right click, copy, and then you can just paste that into the animation ID of your idle anim. And then we just have a few steps left. We're going to take this, we're going to right click, save to Roblox, and then we're going to call this R15 anim idle. And then inside of asset category, make sure you choose model for this one. This is how Roblox's custom animation stuff works. This is how their default animation stuff works. So this is why we're doing it this way. And this took me forever to figure out. <laughs> but so we're going to set the asset category to model and we're going to click save. And now you have a new ID. Now take this ID, copy it in the same way that we did before. Paste it over here. And now this ID right here, it corresponds to this folder right here. And now all that's left is basically whenever a character, whenever a player joins the game, whenever their character is loaded. So as soon as a player joins the game, what we want to do is we want to set the humanoid descriptions animations right here. So we want to set these numbers to this thing right here. And we want to do that using a script. Now, even if you know how to script already, I would suggest that you continue watching because there's one thing that's very important that you have to do that you might miss out on. Now, just follow me. So right click server script service, insert object, insert a script, and then type game.players.player added connect function player. And what this is basically saying is whenever a player joins the game, so whenever a player joins the game, let this player variable be the player that joined. So as soon as I join the game, this player will be me. And now player.characterAddedConnectFunctionChar. Now, whenever a player joins the game, whenever that player's character loads, then let this char be that character. And so this player right here, it represents this thing right here. And then this char right here, represents the model in workspace with your name on it. This is your character. And now remember, all we're trying to do is get the humanoid, the humanoid description, and then change these IDs right here. So now go back into your script and then local humanoid equals char, whoops, char wait for child humanoid. And then if the humanoid exists, then the humanoid description will be this. So all we're doing here is we're saying, okay, so the character has loaded and then let the humanoid variable be that humanoid that's inside of the character. So remember that this here, this here is the character, this is the humanoid, and then this humanoid in our script is the same thing as this humanoid right here. And then this humanoid description right here is the same thing as this humanoid description right here. And now all we have to do is change these IDs and one last step. So humanoid description dot idle animation equals and then you're going to set this id to this id right here copy paste it in and then you'll see that this is not going to work yet so as you can see I'm still walking around and i'm still with my levitation animation and the reason for this is because so we've gone to the humanoid description and we've set the idle animation to this but what we need to do is one last step which is to reset the default animations. The humanoid apply description reset. This is the key right here. So at this point, we've set the idle animation. So we've told Roblox, okay, whatever the idle animation used to be, I don't care. I want it to be this ID right here, which is remember that this ID is referring to this or this right here. And then we're telling Roblox, okay, now I want you to reset everything. So update all of the animations and then make sure that idle is showing. So now if you click play, you'll see that my idle animation has actually changed and this is what I wanted it to be. So there you go. So if that helped you, then make sure you subscribe and like. If it didn't help you, then maybe something's wrong and I'm gonna go through another one with you. So now instead of just idle, we're gonna try to change this walking. This is actually running by the way. Roblox considers walking to be like a really small walk speed. So if you go into your humanoid and you change your walk speed to like six, this is walking right here. Roblox considers this to be walking, but your normal walk speed, Roblox considers this to be running. So just keep that in mind. Now let's do it with running just so you can see everything twice, just so that you understand once more. So I'm gonna go back into my animation editor. So right here, and then you wanna make sure that, okay, there we go. So you wanna make sure that your walking is enabled. So if you don't have a walking animation, you're obviously gonna to need to make one, but here's my walking animation. 
and I'm just going to set it to looped. So make sure that if you're using something like walking or idle, you have this thing right here turned blue because this means that it will loop. And now you're going to click on these three dots and set the animation priority to movement because walking means that you're moving. And then you can click on publish to Roblox just as we did before. And then I'm just going to save it and then take the ID and copy it just as we did before and paste it here. Vampire walk. Okay, so now that we have the walking animation, we need to do this R15 anim business again. And so let's just walk through it, insert an object, insert a folder. And actually, instead of walking, I'm going to call this running. So R15 anim. And then we need a string value. Call this thing run. Because like I said before, when your character is initially walking like this, this is actually running. Roblox considers this to be running. So I'm not using walk here. I'm using run. So then we're going to right click this insert object and then insert an animation. I'm going to call it run anim. Now, if you're doing something like jumping, you can just copy this right here. Or maybe you're doing something like falling. And then you're going to take this animation ID and we need to transform this into an asset ID. So just RBX asset ID and then this has to be the same thing as that. Take this, copy it, go into animation ID, put it in there. And then now we have our animation all set up. Right click this, save to Roblox. Uh, call this R15 anim run, I guess. <laughs> asset, uh, asset category, change this to model, save. And then now you have your R15 anim for run and you have your ID. Boom, R15 anim run. Now, the last thing you have to do is since you already have all this coded, you just have to change one line and all you have to do is change this. So humanoid description dot run animation equals and then change it over to this ID right here and boom. Now, whenever you run, as you can see, your character is doing the funny movement thing. And while you're here, thanks for sticking around. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm just going to show you a quick sneak peek of a commission I've been working on. So this is called uh, struggling. So a vampire can go behind you and then you have to struggle out of it. This is a really cool mechanic that I made for a commission. And then bam, and you're out of the struggle. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.